She said it was just a figment of speech. And I said, you mean figure? But she said no figment, because she could never imagine it happening. But it did. When we first met, I played the shy boy. And when she spoke to me for the very first time, my nose began to bleed. And she kind of guessed the rest. The next day, when we went on a bus ride to the ferry and no one came to collect our fares, well, I knew then this was something really special. I couldn't stop thinking about her. And every time I turned on the radio, there was someone else singing a song about the two of us. It was like being on a fast ride at the fun fair. I thought, when you're on, you want to get off because you're so freaked out. But once you're off, you want to get straight back on again. But our love is strange. And you have to learn to take the crunchy with the smooth sometimes. She started going out with Mr. Potato Head. It's when I saw him with her in the car park with his coat around her shoulders that I realised. I went home and thought about the two of them while the bath wall went cold around me. I thought about her eyes and the curve of her breasts and the point where their bodies met. I confronted her about it. I said, I'm the most illegible bachelor in this town. She said, yeah, that's why I can never understand any of those stupid letters you sent me. And then one day it happened. She voted Tory and I stopped loving her.